Good morning everybody, welcome to Yesenia Plans. Today we're going to be taking a look at my planner and specifically we're going to be planning the week of October 19 until October 25. Going to change the cover with you. I'm going to grab one of my covers that actually I think it matches with my nails and we're going to change the cover and I'm also going to show you some of the stickers that I recently purchased. These stickers are the best. These are from the Happy Planner and this is the best year ever. So it has stickers for every occasion, for the fall, for Christmas. I purchased this same pack, kind of a similar one, last year and I loved it so I decided to purchase it again to decorate my planner specifically for the fall and I can't wait to show you so let's go right into the planning for next week. I love using my Erin Condren planner. This is my hourly planner. This is for memory keeping. So I love this cover. It's so beautiful. It says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And then this is the back cover which has a beautiful pumpkin design and the flowers. I love their planners because they give you the freedom to change the cover whenever you want to. And how funny, I also did my nails and they actually match. Okay, so this is the entire week. We have from Monday the 19th to Sunday the 25th. I don't have any particular method for planning. What I like to do is I like to look at my Outlook calendar on my phone and then if I have any meetings or any events, I usually put it here. So let me run and grab my phone so we could plan accordingly and we do not miss any important events. I like using my markers also. These are the dual tips by Erin Condren and this week we're doing a purple theme and I'm super excited to start doing this. If you're new to this channel, I wanted to let you know I do work full time and I'm also a PhD student. So usually I take class on Monday and Tuesday. So that will be in the afternoon. I will probably write that down. This Tuesday, I'm not meeting with my professor and my classmates, but I'm going to use that assigned time to study and read. On Monday, we have an advisor meeting. It's where all of the advisors get together and talk. So that's pretty exciting. And that will probably take from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So that's gonna be there. And then on Monday, I do have class. So classes from 5 to 7.40. I love putting stickers in my planner. So I really like this one. It says, but I think I love fall most of all. Wednesday is my late date for work. So I'm going to put a cute quote there for the afternoon just as a friendly reminder. So I know, hey, on Wednesday you're teaching. My class is finishing up very soon. I'm teaching first year experience, which is SLS 1501. It's a course that all uh, incoming students need to take. And the course is from three to four. So I have a little pencil there to mark that I'm teaching on Wednesday. They also need to complete their teacher evaluation. So I'm going to put a flag with that reminder. I like prepping in the morning. So I always like to have a little sticker that reminds me, hey, prep, especially on Mondays. So I like waking up like at five in the morning and then I, I have my breakfast and I like prepping. I really like this bicycle. Bicycle is so cute. So Monday is like you get rolling, you get started. So I think it's a cute thing to have here for Monday in the bottom of the page. On Tuesday, I'm actually going to go and see the dissertation of a PhD student. And that should be very helpful and provide me with insight about the dissertation process. Me and my classmates are going to do that. That was actually an assignment for my course. So I put a little flag there. That's going to start at 11 and it'll probably take an hour. And I'm really excited to see how that goes because it's definitely going to be interesting to see how somebody defends their dissertation. I have never really seen that. So this is going to be my first exposure to a dissertation. So I think that's cool. I want to take some time to relax on Tuesday, catch up with reading and assignments. And I actually want to probably like light a candle and relax in the afternoon, like a fall candle. I love my scented candles. I think this is a good reminder for self-care 
we definitely have to find some time to take care of ourselves especially now with everything going on so i decided to put the little light fall candles in that section and i want to go probably for a run but that's when i go home i actually have to oh my gosh i forgot i have to go to the office on tuesday so i actually have to be there in person so that's really 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 important i can't forget to go to the office on tuesday okay so we're going to put a sticker here on tuesday i'm just going to put work i know what i need to do Wednesday is my late day, so what I usually do is I either go for a run in the morning and then I read and film or edit if needed. So Wednesday should be a busy day as well. I'm going to leave it as is, but maybe put kind of like a little flag. Six in the morning all the way till nine. Sometimes I like using a lot of stickers, sometimes I use less. For now, I'm using it as a, a reminder of like the most important things that I have to do. I'm going to leave my Monday through Wednesday as it is. And I'm going to focus on Thursday through Sunday. So Thursdays, sometimes they're calm, sometimes I'm really busy. I like this sticker. I'm probably going to leave it for the weekend. I like waking up really early on Saturdays and just having my coffee or drinking something warm just to get my day started. The weekend is usually when I do a lot of cleaning and catching up. I like this one, this is so cute. Fall is definitely in the air. The weather is kind of changing here in Miami. It's always hot, but it's getting kind of like a little bit windy, not that much, but I do like this and I'm probably going to put this on Thursday so it doesn't look so, so empty. I really like this like whole confetti background. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put that in my Friday afternoon because Friday afternoon, I like to catch up and get ready for the weekend. And put this on Friday and then put any stickers on top of this, if that makes sense. So Friday is usually when I like to grade if my students have gotten ahead with their assignment. I enjoy grading. So what I'm going to do is maybe put a pencil so I remember. On Sundays, I like to grade because that's usually when my students finish their assignments. So I'm going to put the little pencil around 6 to 7 p.m. for grading. This week is going to be a busy week, but it's not going to be too, too crazy. I do want to walk and run and go out there and that will probably take place in the morning. So I'm not going to the gym, so the gym bag is not the best sticker. I'm going to put a little water bottle. I haven't been able to necessarily work out as much as I wanted this week because it's been raining and the weather has been horrible outside. And I get sick really easily. I know some people enjoy running in the rain, but I'm not one of them. And I get sick if I... Um, go out there and it's raining so hopefully Monday through Wednesday I could run in the morning and then Thursday and Friday I'll probably be in the afternoon because it'll be my rest day in the morning and I'll just go for a walk or run in the afternoon so the water bottle serves <laughs> two purposes a reminder to drink water in the morning when I wake up and to actually go for a run I like being very productive, but I also know that I need to find some time to chill. I'm going to put a little um, TV control, even though I don't watch TV, but I'll probably find a video on YouTube or something that I enjoy doing. It would be nice, Yesenia, if you didn't put your stickers backwards, huh? I have class on Monday, so I'm just going to put here a little sticker that says, Feed Your Focus. Class is usually from 5 to 7. I will put that sticker there. I have class on Tuesdays, but this Tuesday we're not meeting, but I still want to use my time to read. So I'm going to put the little reading sticker here. This sticker is a great reminder to starve or distractions. So I want to put that on Thursday because I also want to use my afternoon time on Thursday to read. So as a PhD student, reading is important. As a professional, you want to make sure that you are, you know, doing what you have to do. 
Monday morning, I need to read my emails and catch up with that. So in this case, it'll be reading emails. So I'm going to put an Erin Condren email sticker. So this would be the little email sticker. And then also Monday afternoon, I want to focus on my project. I believe my assignment is coming up, which is a lit review. Pretty much my morning is all booked. So this sticker says I'm all booked. I don't know if you could see it, but I'm going to place it here because after I come back from my run, I have to read and then edit and then get back to work. I believe Friday is a payday. So I'm going to put the little payday, I'm going to put the little payday sign. I like to budget um, every week and just keep track of everything. So maybe in the afternoon, I like to budget. So I budget every week, but I also like to look at my expenses on Fridays. And then on the weekend, I do more of a recap. I like to put a reminder of the saving money concept. So I want to always remember every paycheck, make sure that you're saving. So I will put that right there. I agree with this quote. It says the future depends on what you do today. So I'm going to place that on my Friday. We want to finish the week strong. And Sunday afternoon, I also like to show myself some self-care, whether it's a bubble bath or anything else. We're going to put the little self-care sticker which it's crazy you guys it's almost halloween do you celebrate halloween do you have any halloween plans we don't necessarily celebrate halloween but we're actually going to do something maybe this time around i am definitely dressing up so actually with that being said i have to probably shop for some food and some candy and we might want to do that on Saturday. Saturday, I'm also going to be reading in the afternoon. I also have to plan probably for next week what is going down. So we're gonna put my little calendar. Planning for me, as you know, is fun. It's a hobby. It's something that I love and I like to get creative. So I have this sticker with all the pencils and tools that I usually use. So we're gonna put that right there. Sunday night is also really important because that's also the time that I used to prep for Monday. Sunday is a day in which I like to just relax as much as I can because usually I'm pretty busy on Saturday and Friday afternoon. So it's pumpkin spice and everything nice. I actually haven't treated myself to a Starbucks coffee in a while. So maybe we go and get some coffee in the morning as a treat to ourselves. Who knows? And I actually love these little leaves, so I'm going to put them there. But this is pretty much my week. So Monday, I have a meeting in the morning, work. Tuesday, I'm super excited about the dissertation that I'll be looking at. On Wednesday, I'm teaching, so that's nice. I have to remind my students to complete their teacher evaluation. And the rest of the week, I want to definitely run in the afternoon and focus on school thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy the plan with me give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel subscribe i had tons of fun i don't know if you like this video give me a comment and let me know what day you like the most was it the leaves are falling or is it sunday i love sunday have a wonderful week see you next time